awesome. And then finally, what we're doing this morning is celebrating some of our new leaders that have risen up. Pastor Dustin is going to talk about the residency and these guys right here. So you give them a hand. Today they officially graduate. Congratulations. Hey, so over the last five years, one of the responsibilities and privileges that I've had at Vintage Church is to lead a ministry residency program. And so over these last nine months, these four individuals have uh, looked at personal leadership, pastoral leadership, and uh, organizational leadership. And so we have spent nine months reading just a little bit, you know, not too much. A book a month, come on, it's not that bad. Uh, reading, listening to things, and then processing what we're learning and putting that into uh, our ministry context. What does that information look like? How can we apply it in our lives? And so these four individuals have finished the residency program, they have graduated, and uh, I'm excited for them. Can we give it up again for them? So first we have Melanie Crawford, let's give it up for her. Morgan Thomas, Daniel Baptiste, who did a quick change, and Elena Robinette. So they've put in a lot of hard work. We're really excited for them. Over the next uh, six months into 2019, you're going to hear a lot about uh, leadership development at Vintage Church, a lot about a leadership pipeline. That's something that we're putting a lot of focus and energy on. And so I pray that we have more people, maybe some of you here that aren't necessarily in leadership yet, aspiring to that and wanting to take next steps, or people that we're going to anticipate reaching, that the Lord might save that are far from Jesus, that might not only come to know Jesus, but then be raised up to be a leader in the local church. And so I'm really excited about this. I'm thankful for you guys. I had fun too. And uh, so let's stand together. Let's pray. And let's ask the Lord to use us as we are sent out. Father, we love you. We thank you for today. Thank you that we can trust you and anticipate you to move. I thank you for these residents, God. I thank you for the hard work, the dedication, the, the challenges that they faced. I pray, God, that these last nine months, they can take that information and use it for your work and your kingdom. God, we pray for those maybe in here right now that are aspiring to lead or that you're beginning to speak to to lead, God, that they would take next steps to become a leader. God, we pray for the people that we're going to reach this week, God. We're anticipating you to send us out and use us to invite and share your gospel. Save those people, God. Use them in your church. Build them up. Equip them. That ultimately, Father, all of us might be sent out to reach and save people. God, we pray all of this trusting in you, thankful for you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.